Hey now. Hi, this is Professor Salmon with a brief orientation to your first week of uh, lecture and readings. Um, I uh, shared with you some of my background uh, in the introductory uh, uh, video, and what I'd like you to do is to think about uh, your biography and your interest in the Comparative Health Systems course, if you've had any experiences internationally uh, and, and observed some systems or read about some different countries or traveled someplace, if you can kind of share that in a, in a biography, a brief one or two page biography that we can put on the discussion board so that everybody in the course has access to that and we can foment some uh, interactions among you, particularly if you might have uh, you know, mutual interests. Like last year there were a couple students who had uh, work experiences internationally in HIV AIDS work uh, and they were able to come together after reading these biographies. Um, I'd like to tell you just a little bit about the book by Johnson and Stavkoff. Uh, I've looked at probably a dozen uh, Comparative Health Systems course books over the last decade and this is the most recent. Uh, I ended up meeting uh, Professor Johnson, uh, he's from Michigan, uh, uh, at the American Public Health Association, and I found this book to be rather well done in terms of its format as well as its detail and timeliness. So I've asked you to go ahead and buy the book, uh, hopefully through Amazon where you can get a discount, and, and to stay uh, constant in the reading of it. Uh, it's really worthwhile. The other thing is T.R. Reed uh, is a Washington Post writer, and he put out a book which probably was the only book that got a lot of attention during the debates uh, over health reform with President Obama. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, not a lot of people look elsewhere for lessons for us to go ahead and revise our health care system. Uh, but Reed's book was about experience of re obtaining medical care in different places around the globe and, and it's very well written and a number of people have praised it in good reviews so by all means uh, the article that I asked you to read will give you an introduction to that and, and you may want to look at the book that he has uh, uh, published also. Um, the first lecture uh, we'll give you elements of an analysis that we can use throughout the course. Uh, it's rather detailed, um, but it, it gives you uh, an overview and an orientation that'll be very worthwhile as you look at different countries. Um, one of the things to be aware of, and I mentioned this in, in the lecture, is our U.S. bias. We tend to think that everything that we know as health professionals here uh, and, and projected out around the world without realizing that uh, medical education is different from country to country, uh, licensing and professional regulation is different, roles and relationships of doctors, nurses, and pharmacists and other practitioners are different. Many countries around the world don't have the technology we do, so all the people that we see working in hospitals are not replicated. Uh, and so, again, understand your U.S. perspective and bias, not just in health policy, but in the way the health systems are structured and organized. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, I mentioned my uh, friendship and... and uh, uh, my mentor, M Professor Milton Romer from UCLA, uh, I, I rely upon his structural analysis uh, to compare health systems. Uh, and, and I want you to be aware all the time of the big picture of healthcare systems and, and what that means. Uh, and, and as you go around the world looking from country to country, it's a big place, there's a lot of differences. Uh, what we have to do in our analysis of things is try to get the similarities and try to go ahead and have a sense of uh, 
what these things mean in health and health care delivery uh, as we travel from place to place. Uh, if you have traveled in, in uh, uh, different countries, uh, you know, even if it's just in the proximate areas of the Caribbean or Latin America, um, you know, think about, reflect back on that travel experience and think about what you observed in terms of uh, the differences of history and culture and the social situation um, and, and, and what was happening there in terms of your observations of people's health care. Uh, if you had experiences uh, being sick in a foreign country and went through the health care system, that's even more fun in terms of being able to compare and contrast to what we have going here in the United States. Uh, so again, with that as an orientation, uh, take a look at the readings, be diligent in thinking about the issues, keeping at that, that, that big picture or global level. And uh, as you get into the analytical frameworks in week two, uh, you'll see some elaboration and start to get the fact that people look at these issues through different lenses. Uh, and that lens is important for you to be aware of too because again, as I mentioned, we all have this American bias on the world. Uh, but in understanding healthcare systems, uh, it's important to see things as the people there see them. Uh, in week three, we talk about the typologies and dynamics and perspectives so that you start to delineate a little bit more uh, how people see things. I've cut down on the readings. Uh, they're a little bit more difficult than maybe you're used to uh, if, if, they're, uh, if it's new material. Uh, and, and every couple of weeks I'll give an orientation like this uh, uh, so that we can uh, uh, you know, give, give you a sense of my expectations for how you handle the uh, readings. Uh, and, and let me also say that uh, we're going to be arranging for meetings of the class uh, and, and if you can let me know in an email uh, what's convenient for you, whether you like mornings, afternoons, or an evening, uh, when the class can meet and we can have some face-to-face -face interaction. I'd like to get to know you all personally and, and I think the interactions that you can have with each other because the... You know, uh, teachers teach students and students teach students and believe me uh, I've come to know that students teach teachers and I want to learn from you also if you've had good experiences. Uh, by, by the uh, fourth week when we start looking at the US and then the Soviet Union, Great Britain and the countries most like us in terms of health insurance mechanisms, Germany, Japan and Canada I'll give you another orientation to that. In the meanwhile, enjoy the readings and, and get back to me with the bios and also the times available we can arrange for class meetings. Thank you so much.